talent in the center of the park. Furthermore, Antony and Marcus Rashford have each endured a torrid season, thereby building a case for United to pursue some new wingers in order to bolster their attacking lineup. While signing a new winger and a central midfielder could be on the agenda, Olmo proves to be a versatile player who could fill both roles, thereby allowing United to fill these roles with a single transfer the Spaniard has scored four goals and grabbed five assists. In 19 Bundesliga games this season, along with one Champions League goal in three appearances, he also scored a hat-trick to seal a 3-0 win over Bayern Munich in the DFL Supercup. Such performances have justified United's alleged interest in the player, with the people's person relaying late last month that the club are expected to enter the race to sign Olmo in the upcoming summer. Transfer window. RB Leipzig sporting director Ruven Schroeder appeared confident that his club could hold on to Olmo, claiming that the player is comfortable with them and is unlikely to give up the good life he has with Leipzig still. The midfielder's transfer cannot be ruled out, with ESPN's Rodrigo Fays claiming that Olmo is fond of Manchester as well as the English lifestyle. United appear to be taking Olmo's supposed affinity for Manchester seriously, with Sportbuild claiming that the club is getting serious about signing him. Sport Witness cites Sportbuild again saying that United made contact with Olmo, Asking him about his future plans. It was also mentioned that the 25 year old has a release clause of 60 million euros, which United could decide to pay in order to bring him to Old Trafford. Still, with the likes of Manchester City and Bayern Munich also being listed as potential suitors, United may need to act fast to have any chance of luring Olmo to the club this summer. Manchester United have tasked new director Jason Wilcox with guiding all technical areas of the football department to achieve the highest standards of performance. The 53-year-old begins his employment at Old Trafford with immediate effect having caught the eye of Sir Jim Ratcliffe during his work at Southampton. He is the latest former Manchester City board member to defect to the other side of the city. Incoming CEO Omar Barada is poised to exit the Etihad this summer, having worked with Wilcox during his 11 years with the Blues Academy before his switch to the South Coast. After helping under 18s to a national title and two FA Youth Cup finals, he had been promoted to City Academy Director in 2017. He was snapped up by Southampton. In January 2023, with the reputation of building one of the most exciting youth systems in England. When he arrived, former City graduates Gavin Bazunu, Romeo Lavia, Sam Edizi, and Juan Lario had already been at St. Mary's for six months. He ended up bringing more down to the Saints last summer purchasing Shea Charles for around £10 million and acquiring Taylor Harwood Bellis on loan, despite stating upon his arrival, I've not come here trying to bring Manchester City down south. Trying to do that at United may be a shorter journey for players but a near impossible task. However, he may have the edge over former City graduates who have moved on. United are set to search for a centre-back this summer and Fulham defender Tosin Adarabayoyo has been linked. The 26-year-old left City's youth system in 2020 after loans at West Brom and Blackburn and has now become a mainstay in Marco Silva's setup. He sees his contract expire this summer and Fulham are rumoured to be pulling together a bumper contract in a last-ditch attempt to keep hold of him. Tosin Adarabayoyo of Fulham the Fulham defender played 10 FA Youth Cup games under Wilcox, losing in two two-legged finals against Chelsea in 2015 and 2016. Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham and Fikeo Tomori were some of the opponents, for context. 
Adarabayoyo has not quite reached the heights of that trio just yet, but a united move would place him in that bracket of notable graduates from those FA Youth Cup finals. United need younger center halves, two Johnny Evans, Harry Maguire, and Victor Lindelof will all be north of 30 by the time next season starts while Rafael Verani is currently set to exit at the end of his contract in June. Lisandro Martinez, like Adarabayoyo, is 26 and the next youngest is Willy Cambuala at 19 years old. Jared Branthwaite has also been linked but would cost a pretty penny, especially with Everton battling Premier League spending rules. Adarabayoyo would not cost a copper in transfer money amid United's own financial fair play concerns and Wilcox. Being present would hand his club a significant advantage over other interested parties, Newcastle United, Tottenham and Milan, where Tom Ori currently plies his trade, have all been linked. Adarabayoyo is by no means a surefire success and he is yet to experience European football but he has got 77 Premier League games under his belt already at Fulham. But if United decide to cut their cloth accordingly and are looking for snap deals, Adarabayoyo may not be the worst choice and Wilcox can stamp an instant mark on his stay.